All right, this is just a demonstration of how Jing works. It's a screen capture, screen recording software from techsmith.com. It's available for both PCs and uh, Macintosh. I've already started it by double-clicking on the, the uh, Jing icon in my applications directory, and you can see it up here in this corner. So I'm going to go ahead and close that window, or at least get it out of the way. And um, I'm going to just do a quick re screen recording of uh, a Google presentation here that I put together. Uh, by pointing at this, I can choose these crosshairs, and I'm just going to select the, the presentation itself here with these crosshairs. And then I can start the recording. I have an option of, click, of snapping just an image or doing a video. I'm going to choose the video. Countdown begins. Here we go. Uh, whoops, I should be on slide one, though, shouldn't I? There we go. Welcome to our presentation on social bookmarks and RSS, blah, blah, blah. I sound like such a genius. And when I'm done, I click Stop and it shows me my preview. I'm going to save it to a file here. Sorry, I cut off the save button there. I'm going to change the file name to something. It doesn't matter what it is. Click share. Boom. It says good. You're done. And that's it. You can just quickly click and capture any action on any part of your screen at any time at the drop of a hat. That's the beauty of Jing. And one other thing I should mention is um, Jing does save your videos as a uh, SWF file, and they're fairly compact. I call that Jing something. There we are, Jing 33. Uh, let's see. That. Let's get the info on that little thing right there. And that little snap cost me 428 kilobytes of disk space. That's pretty good. Less than half a meg.